if you have your mouth on your mouth, this is a piece of food. And the idea is to move it through the tube. And to do it effectively, whether it's through the esophagus, through the small intestine, large intestine, you've got to what? Squeeze the food. And then the section in front of it has to dilate. So the food what? Moves through. Then that section has to what? Squeeze. And the lower section has to dilate. And you're going to see what makes that possible is in the digestive tube, except in one location, you have two layers of muscle. One which will make the tube what? Wider. And one which will what? Squeeze the tube. At any given you you've got two layers around it. So this is what peristalsis is showing, is that you're going to move it from here to here to here, right? And uh, segmentation I'll do later.